<laughs> hey guys, welcome to Graphic Designer Pro. In this tool time, we'll be looking at the width tool in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to follow along, then you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Okay, I'll pass you over to our lead designer, Rory, who will show you how it works. Thanks Ross, so jumping straight into our template file, we can use the width tool to adjust the width of a stroke along a path, as you can see in the options on the left hand side. On the right hand side, I first need to make sure I select a path before we can apply any custom width to it, and the width tool can be found over on the left hand side. The keyboard shortcut is Shift and W. Now I can start using the width tool by simply clicking and dragging anywhere along the path, and as you can see, I can create a width point and adjust the width at that point in the path. Now I can add as many of these as I want to along the path, including the start and end points. With the width tool still selected, I can also move them around so I can click and drag and move any of these width points along the path and it's going to adjust accordingly. Up in my control bar, you will notice a few things. We have a new width profile here. So if you didn't know, we can actually select from some predefined width profiles that have their own width points already set up. You'll also notice that the stroke width here has changed and that's based on the widest point of the stroke. Within my stroke options as well, it's worth noting that I'm using the rounded cap on these examples as it gives quite a nice effect, but you can still change this depending on your requirements. So I'm going to go back to a uniform line here and we'll just go with 0.25 for the stroke weight. So again, I'm just going to click and drag a new width point. One other thing we can do is if I hold option on a Mac or alt on a PC and click on just one side of a width point, we can adjust just that side, as you can see. Moving on to our other example, another useful technique, again with the rounded cap, is if I use my width tool, so Shift and W, I can create a width point close to the end of the path here, and I'm just going to try and roughly match the width that we already have. And if I hover over the end point, by default, there will be width points already set on a normal path. So all I need to do here is hold Option, and I I'm just going to click and drag on this side and you can see I can create this teardrop effect at the end of the path. I'll do the same on this side, so clicking and dragging and just trying to match the width of this path. Go to the end point, hold option, click and drag and do the same thing. And that's it for an overview of the width tool. If you want to learn more about graphic design, we've created a free one hour training where we reveal our top five secrets to creating beautiful graphic design. So make sure to sign up for the next free webinar. The link is in the description. You're not going to want to miss it. I'll see you there.